Hey guys, so just before we get into today's video, just wanted to give a quick little heads up to those of you that don't follow me on Twitter. Um, over on my Big Cartel store, we are running a pre-order for some t-shirts I designed. Um, these are the first t-shirts that I'm kind of releasing under my brand, um, so to say. And uh, these pre-orders will be available until July 29th at midnight. I will be taking them down. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, the link will be in the description below. And I appreciate every single one of you that goes and checks it out. Let's get right into the video. All right, guys, uh, welcome back to part number two. Um, in the last part, we fixed up the seam lines on the legs as well as the arms. Um, and we added this uh, detail here. Now, off camera, I know I put in the com I asked you guys to put in the comments section what we should add here. Um, as I was just looking at what I had, um, I think these vent details work pretty well for uh, adding to the detail that we already put. Um, it makes sense from a realistic standpoint that there might be a vent there, so that's what we went with. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, but in this part, um, we are going to get this guy primed. Um, and basically, once it's primed, we should be able to see if there's any additional imperfections uh, that we might need to fix. Um, there's a possibility that there might not be, and we, we won't have to have any additional steps, um, but then there's the possibility that there will be. Before that though, before we get it primed, um, there's one thing we need to do, and that is remove the safety fins, safety flags off the V fin. I don't know why I said that weird. Um, so yeah, so let's pop the head off and I'll, uh, we'll get into that right away. Okay, so we pop the V-Fan off and as you can see, there's little fins that come off the V-Fan on either side. These are, I put these on high grades um, basically for safety purposes um, and they don't look very good. So. We are going to remove these. So essentially all we're going to do is clip them off and then file them down. Okay, so that one's taken off. We'll have a little bit of plastic left over. We'll just have to sand that down. It's basically the same thing as removing a nub. You just want to be very careful cutting these off because the plastic on the V-fin is very thin and you can break the part. Okay, so that one came off a little bit cleaner than the other one. And let's get our glass file here. Lay it flat across and just sand that down. is the safety flags removed from the V-Fin. So um, we're gonna get into priming now. Um, so let me get this guy torn down, get everything on the alligator clips, and we will be right back. All right guys, so I got all of the pieces I could uh, on the alligator clips ready for paint. Um, quite a few of them, it's gonna take me a little bit here. Uh, we're gonna get these primed up. Um, I have to do it in two passes. I still have all of these pieces left. Um, so we're not gonna be able to get them all painted in one go, which is something I hate, but hey, it's gonna be all right. We're gonna get it done. Uh, so anyway, give me a couple minutes here. Uh, for you, it's gonna be instant, um, but give me a second. I'm gonna get these primed and we'll be on to the next step. All right, guys, so it's been a couple hours. Um, all of these pieces um, are primed and good to go. The paint is dry. Um, we're gonna do things just a tad different than I normally would. So typically speaking, if I couldn't fit all the parts onto the alligator clips over here, I would wait till these pieces are dry, put these on alligator clips, get these painted, and then start going from there. But uh, we're actually going to do things just a tad different this time around just because I'm filming the whole process. So I'm trying to be as efficient, efficient as possible. 
So basically, because these pieces over here are primed and ready to go, um, we are going to paint them the colors that they are going to be. Um, so I guess now I can reveal uh, what the color scheme for this kit is going to be. And that is going to be Char's, Char's G40. So we've got uh, some products from Mecha Color here, uh, Vallejo. Uh, we're gonna be using red, uh, pink, but the pink, they call it pink, but it's just that kind of salmon color that is on uh, Char's Zaku. And SZ Red, this is like a kind of blood orange color. Um, and we're gonna use this for accents. Um, so yeah, those are the colors we're gonna be using. So I'm going to, basically this is gonna be part two and then there's gonna be a part 2.5. Um, basically I'm gonna get uh, the some of these pieces painted, show you guys what they are gonna look like once they're painted. And then in part 2.5, uh, we will finish painting everything and uh, we'll start adding some detail painting and stuff like that. And then part three should be the final part, but let's get these parts painted and take a look at what they're gonna look like. All right guys, so it's the next day um, and we've got everything painted on the main body and put back together. So just wanna point out a couple things here. So the red here on the bottom part of the torso and the red here is different. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, um, but the reason I point that out, that red is the same red on the knee and here. Um, and that is the red that we are gonna use to do some detail painting here and here. And then as well on the detail parts here and on the backs of the legs here. So we're making good headway. Um, we've got some detail painting left to do. I don't want to do that yet. Um, the paint has cured for 24 hours, but I usually let it sit just a little bit longer before I do any masking, um, just to avoid any of the paint peeling off when I remove the masking tape. The other thing that we have to take care of is here where the legs can rotate back and forth. Um, there's some gaps here where we need to get some paint on. So uh, that'll be probably, you know, the final step. But for the most part, everything is looking pretty good. We didn't ship any paint putting the parts back together, which is always a risk. Um, but we let, we let everything cure long enough that it shouldn't be a problem. But I think it's looking pretty good. Um, the colors came out really nice. We had some issues with the uh, char salmon color. Um, I think that the, the color had just been sitting on my workbench for too long. Paint kind of starts to gunk up a little bit and uh, it doesn't come out of the airbrush as well as you'd like it to. But for the most part, I think it came out pretty good. Um, this is all gonna look a lot better once we get the flat coat on there after we apply the decals and everything. Um, it usually, it lightens up the color a little bit and it ends up looking pretty nice. But I think that's gonna do it for this part. Um, we will do the detail painting and masking bits uh, in the third and final part, as well as the water slides. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was a little bit shorter part than the first one, uh, mostly because uh, I already have a tutorial video on painting uh, on my channel. So I didn't wanna waste everybody's time rehashing that. So. If you have any questions about painting, I can link you to the video that you're gonna be looking for. But for now, just getting the base coat down, uh, I didn't wanna film that whole process. It gets a little, a little boring, but thank you guys for stopping by. Put down in the comments below what you're thinking about this color scheme. Any other suggestions or things that you guys wanna see from these videos, let me know and I'll do my best to put them in the next video. And for now, see you guys later. Thank you.